So Phil Morris, who's uh, been a very busy man there, just having a bit of an interaction with Leon Madsen. Um, uh, I don't know if it's stopped raining now or not. No, I think it's still just drizzling, but uh, I don't sense that we're going to have any more delays. I think we're going to crack on with this and uh, get as far as we possibly can, as quickly as possible. Um, I don't sense it's dangerous, is it? We haven't seen anybody slip off, and, uh, you know, it is tricky, but uh, these guys are handling it. Yeah, track hasn't been dangerous at any point um, this evening. Uh, you know, I will say that vision has been a problem for the riders, and it is a big factor. I mean, Ty Wolfenden there just said uh, limited visibility. Well, you, you're measuring that in millimetres because it's your eyeballs to the front of your goggle lens, and you can't see a single thing. So uh, it is pretty limited at times, but, um, no, the lads are all handling the conditions very well. So here we go then, straight on with it. Very limited delay there. We've got uh, Robert Lambert back out here. Jason Doyle has got back-to-back -back races, has had very little time indeed to prepare himself for heat number nine, but he'll be out there, that's for sure. Lambert, who is unbeaten so far with two stunning rides on six points alongside Dan Bewley, potentially just a couple of points away from a semi-final here tonight in uh, Donja Kraljevic in the Millennium Stadium. Um, uh, looking strong, looking fast so far. So the lineup then is Jack Holder on the inside in red, gate number two in blue, Jason Doyle. Gate number three in white is Martin Vasilik, and off the outside is the unbeaten so far, Robert Lambert in yellow. Interesting to see if Lambert can make some sort of start there, similar to what Jason Doyle did in the previous race, Chris. Yeah, I was just about to say that uh, he's won both of his races from the inside gates, now he's got gate four, but it'd be buoyed by the fact that uh, Jason Doyle made an absolute flyer from there in the previous race. Yeah, we can see now the camera on the star marshal here, just keeping an eye on the riders, trying to encourage them to come forward. Something new for 2023 for us to have a little bit more close-up and personal action of these um, uh, Speedway riders. We um, uh, haven't got too much longer before they need to be up at tapes, and the referee will be keen for them to do that. So they can move forward now. And, um, uh, Two Australians on the inside there, going to be battling out there. Will Robert Lambert remain unbeaten? We're about to find out. Here we go. Takes her up. Close in the first corner. Look at this. This is really Ooh, close indeed. Tight. Jason Doyle there hustling it, but Robert Lambert around the outside. Doyle and Robert Lambert. Oh, it's tight going into turn three. Robert Lambert tried to lean on Jason Doyle, but he was having none of it. And Doyle hung on out in front. Jack Holder back in third place with Martin Vasilik out the back. But crikey, that was a tough first lap. Yeah, Robert Lambert thought he'd uh, found the hole, found the way past Jason Doyle, but so much determination from Jason Doyle to hang on to the front. Looks like he's got just about enough speed. Robert Lambert doesn't seem to be putting a move on him, but he doesn't want to make any mistakes. Robert Lambert looks very threatening there. Back in second place, that's for sure. Jason Doyle working all the hard. Oh, Lambert on the back wheel, winding it on. Fabulous motorcycle skills there as he controlled the wheelie down the back straight. One last blast down the back straight. Fabulous speedway here in difficult conditions. Jason Doyle out of gate number two wins another race. Back-to-back -back heat victories for the Australian. Robert Lambert drops his first point of the night, but it's far from any problems for him. Moving on to eight points after three rides. And uh, for Jason Doyle as well, moving on to seven. Great stuff from him. What a first corner that was. Three points for Jason Doyle. Robert Lambert back in second place, two points. Jack Holder in the thick of the action as well in third. And Martin Vasilik just missing out this time. But got to say, the commitment in that first corner, three abreast. Really, very little room. Talk us through it here, Chris. Yeah, nothing in it. Jack Holder on the inside makes a good start. I think at this point he thinks, yeah, I've done enough here. But uh, Jason Doyle just would not back out of it. The gap was getting smaller and smaller as Robert Lambert made a decent start and comes across here from the outside. Thinks he might be able to stop the run, but Jason Doyle is not getting off the gas. We can see there Jack Holder pushing him as hard as he can. Jack has to turn the bike extra hard. That cost him a few yards in the first turn. But uh, great to see Jason Doyle winning races again, 2017 world champion. How did Robert Lambert ride that out without actually losing any ground whatsoever? Oh, brilliant skills there, shown there. And uh, Doyle now with back-to-back -back wins there and a point in his first race, seven points from a possible nine, looking set for a semi-final berth, and uh, they'll be very pleased with that.